Yeah. All right, we are now recording. Um, so basically, um, you were going into. I'm gonna start sending the invitation here in about five minutes, but you you were going into the Spanish the Inquisition itself. So tell right. tell us a little bit more about that. Um, for anybody that really doesn't know anything about the Inquisition. So a lot of times you um hear about the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition. Right. And the way that they tell it in American history was yes, it was an Inquisition and it was religious persecution in the Inquisition. But what they don't tell you is that they were persecuting the Jews that had fled Jerusalem in 70 AD in these Inquisitions. And that's what a lot of people miss. They miss, they miss well, it's not miss, it's not told properly. Right. So if you look at an Inquisitor's uniform, it is the exact uniform that the Ku Klux Klan use here in the united states so right. if you wow. wonder where this came from um if you wonder where this came from that's where it comes from they didn't right. come out of nowhere the ku klux klan didn't come up and say hey we're gonna have these long robes and pointy hats now what is the difference between the robe that the ku klux klan wears and the catholic pope wears what's the difference there is none. really none, no difference at all. No, except for the hat. That's I was just gonna say, except for the hat that looks Different like a fish. Hat. Right. So if you see a police officer or a security guard, you know what they do. So now you're gonna look at the same uniform and say, "Well, that uniform doesn't have anything to do with the other uniform." Ah, uh, yes, they're all law enforcement or security. You know, because that's what the uniform tells you that right. it is. So. Right. You know, what I try to do is show similarities and things and show you how these things follow the same pattern throughout history. It, right. They don't change. It's it's always there and it's ever present. That's right. That's right. You know, That's so, interesting. You know, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Eric? How are you? Hey, Tess, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, we yeah, can we hear can. you. All okay. loud and clear. The first yeah, time was... I do the Zoom call. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. It's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Looking so, um, did did uh, you want to go uh, a little bit more on that, Barack? Yeah. So now you get now you get slavery. Um, now you have the Ku Klux Klan. Now you get to the part where black people possibly could get their 40 acres and a mule, okay? Mm. But they send the clan in to chase you off of the farms so that you can now no longer grow your food and you're going, they're going to chase you into the city mm. for your survival. And the right. city is a trap again, right? That's so right. now you went from slave patrols to the sheriff's department. So I'm going to show you the same uniform again. The slave patrol's badge looks exactly like the sheriff's department badge that all the sheriff's departments wear to this day. It's the same badge. The other coincidence is that same badge is a, is a how many pointed star. It's either a five or a six pointed star. It is a pentagram. That's right. Yeah. He saw uses a pentagram right so these right. are symbols of oppression so now we've gone all the way from the inquisition to the sheriff's department and many of those people are freemasons that's right okay yeah. so the freemasonry is a, a tool to keep the these same group of people down to keep them oppressed, oppressed and suppressed. That's right. Okay. So. And these conversations are really spreading. Right. Go ahead. Right. So now you've, now you've got black people off of the farms because there's power in owning land and there's power in growing your own food. So I get you off the land and chase you off. And this is a personal experience of, from my family, 
my mom's family was chased off of their land in Georgia and into the city by the Klan because right. my mom refused to get beaten as a 12-year-old child mm. by basically a white man that wasn't of any authority to her, but that authority is still over. So, um, and you're talking about um, that that this is a continuation. Now they got you in the city. Now that now now they have the cops. Now the cops are patrolling over you. They don't live in your neighborhood, but they patrol your neighborhood. Mm. They're not part of your community, but they patrol your community. So people say. Oh, you're not really oppressed, really? Because so now they step in, in in them getting you out of the country and into the city separated the fathers from the family. That's right. Because yeah. now you're in the they city. They wanted to break up that family structure. They wanted that family right. structure to be broken up. Right. So they make it seem like, well, black people just don't stick together and black people don't want to be married. Well, that's not true. You split up family. The history of the United States and the slavery was the breaking up of families. It was taking the children and snatching them away from the parents. This is this is the history of it. You can't get around this. But this is what they don't want to teach you in school. Right. So now you guys heard of the I, uh, World Economic Forum, what they said? They said by 2030, you will own nothing and you will be happy. Have you guys heard about that? I, I, I've actually, yeah. yeah, I've actually heard about mm -hmm. that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we brought up uh, Freemasonry. I, I looked into that quite a bit. I don't know if you're uh, XJW2, Trevor, but there's that Albert Pike. And he said that they hold it until they get to the 30th to the 33rd degree. Degree. Oh, that's right. The, the God they worship is Lucifer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. You know, they don't tell the average Freemason that when they're coming up. That's right. That's, that's right. right. You have to go. You have to go up the ranks, and uh, they have to keep testing and make sure that you're part of the uh, the checkerboard game. <laughs> right. And you, you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and and so th these these this is the same um, entity that is, has a constant oppression over really the world, but especially people of color. This That's is right. why the judges, this is why you never get justice. Like, we never get justice. People, like, I I find it funny, like, people saying, oh, well, look, they're doing something Donald Trump. And I was like, yeah, but how's that changing your life? Mm -hmm. What is it doing for you? Nothing. Me, it's entertainment. Because yeah. I know what's behind it. Yeah. It's really just a distraction. That's right. Know? Oh, he's indicted. And I'm like, so you're freer because he's indicted? No. Does your bank account change? No. Are you any freer or any richer? No. So why are you letting it affect you? Right. It doesn't make any sense. Right. But people cheer on a lot of things that have nothing to do with them. Right. You guys know and who they George don't know Soros why. is. Go ahead. You know George? who George Soros is. George Soros, yes. Mm -hmm. So he he's the one behind and i took a snapshot on wikipedia because people just didn't believe me that he was the one that funded the black lives matter movement and when you look at the uh statement about what they're actually up to i'm not talking about the regular people on the street I, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm following if, you i'm following you if you yeah. look at their mission statement i don't remember how to i don't know if it's called a mission statement or whatever but they're against the nuclear family they're against the idea of a male father, of a, a mother, being You're over the so kids. You're so right. You are so right. right. And, and look, and look who funded it. Yes. Right. Yes. So, if you look at the leaders of the Black Lives Matter movement, they were all lesbian women. Uh huh. Yes. Right. <laughs> there was no black male that was put in the front of that. That's right. So when people said, look at me, and they said, you don't believe in Black Lives Matter? And it's like, no. I said, because it's a facade. It was brought on, and I think that the whole thing is a facade. I yeah. mean, from the George Floyd stuff, yeah, I think it's a facade. Um, it happened in the middle of COVID, and nobody had a mask on. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
doesn't make any sense. It's a film. It's a production. Yeah. And these productions always happen. There's always a false flag. There's always something put up. And you always have to wait for the fallout to see what really has happened. Okay. Yeah. And so you're 100% correct in the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, how are you not going to have black males leading the Black Lives Matter movement when we're the most um, suppressed and oppressed people in the United States, hands down? Because black men don't get help with welfare at all. Black women do, yeah, but black men don't. And they and get more the help kid. if they don't marry the father of their kids. They get more <laughs> money to not marry them. And it's right. like, how does no one see that this is geared to make people fail? Right. Yeah, and so right. it's called being married to the system. It's yeah. it's a marriage of the system. And so it empowers black women to not want to be with a black man. So now, not only they have kids, don't want to be married, and now a lot of them are lesbians. Mm -hmm. So, but this is thing. true. What was that, Trev? Sorry, I, I kind of interrupted you, Brock. No, you're good. No, you're but good. To, add on to, to the whole uh, Black Lives Matter type, the push, right? I don't remember the lady's name, but she was trying to push and make a documentary about it. She was looking where the funding was went going. And they were funding the LGBTQ community. They were funding the men who want to be women. You, you remember the whole ordeal about the trans that, that were forming in schools? Mm -hmm. They were funding all of that. And none of the money was going back to the community. It was all That's going right. to these different to stations. And that adds on to what you said about it being owned by two women. Yeah. Right. Or, yeah. And then George it, Soros supported. backing it up. Yes. Right. It's supporting right. the community, but not the community we want. The community that's being pushed, the evil community of LGBT.